Hello and welcome to another update video about Matic. So yeah, the white wave count seems to play out here. We have some clarity. Um, as you might remember, we were tracking here the yellow wave count and the yellow wave count um, assumed that priors could rally in a third wave, but the condition was to hold the 55.3 cent level. Been warning about this count and highlighted how unreliable it is, but we can give it the chance. That's also why the support area was highlighted in orange, which indicates higher risk. In the last video then I explained to you that it doesn't look like that a low is in yet. And I highlighted to you, we need to see a first a break above the descending trend line to get a strong indication that a low is in and the break above 63 cents. None of that happened, support broke. And yes, the probably more reliable white wave count is playing out right now. I leave the yellow one still on the chart because if price turns around right now, it um, it would still be a valid scenario because price has not broken below the 10th of June low, but I think it will. I think it will. So we already basically right now disregard the yellow wave count. The white wave count, um, which is unchanged, seems to be heading towards that 48 and a half cent level, the 78.6 retracement. Below that, we've got 41 cents, which is the 88.7 FIB level. In this scenario, you can see that um, price rallied in a WXY structure of the June lows to the, well, July highs at around 90 cents. Price moved down since then in an ABC structure, which I consider a wave five as an, well, part of an ending diagonal structure. That's why the wave five consists of an ABC structure. We're currently tracking here the C wave. I have added for you a micro count. Um, and it might need one more low. <laughs> I know I know how it is, but um, at the moment there is no indication a low is in. We would get from here a first indication now that a low is in if price can break above 58.8 cents. Yeah, 58.8 cents. Uh, let me adjust Fibonacci resistance as well. But in this scenario, if we assume this was a way four that happened on the 19th of August, this swing high, well, then we could really be in this sort of last wave down now. And this might have been a one, two, three, four, five, yeah, with one more low maybe to come, but you know, basically we're there. It, it doesn't necessarily need to come down any lower. However, the next Fibonacci levels are 48 and a half cents. I'd like it to visit that one at least and below that 41. If we look at Fibonacci extensions, what are additional targets if we, if we use the Fibonacci extensions? For example, we can take the length of the A wave, go to the high of the B wave, and then you can see that the 100% extension, one second, so 100% extension, which is a key target, is at 46.5 cents. I'm going to add that to the chart as well. That is a level of interest. It's a level to watch um, and to pay attention to if price comes down lower. So that would be an ideal target. Let's see if we get there. I mean, at the moment, um, not honestly, not sufficient information that the low is in. I would still like to use the descending trend line as a signal that the low is in. A very first and early indication might be a break above that wave four high at 58 point, yeah, 58.8 cents. Um, Fibonacci resistance is still valid. It has been adjusted to 61.7 cents. That's the resistance level. All of these are relevant levels to watch should price turn around. But we need a little bit more price data to um, understand if price is turning around. But I would expect at this stage further downside because these are the next FIB levels, which are highly relevant. And I would assume that price is going to visit at least one of them in this move down. But yeah, hey, it, it retraced deep enough. It doesn't need to retrace anymore. Really now we are at a point where, you know, over the last few weeks I've been telling you one more low, one more low, one more low. We're now at a point where I really watch for bottoming signals. That's my update about Matic. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.